Hey everybody, this is Amber. I'm gonna be teaching the balancing half moon pose today. So I have a block out here. It's not totally necessary, but I still use one. Um, I've got it diagonally up for my left foot. I'm gonna be using the left leg as my balancing leg to start today. So you're gonna to turn towards the, long, the short edge of your mat here. You're gonna take a slight bend in that front knee. Some people come up from a crescent or a runner's lunge. We're just gonna start standing up. So we're gonna keep that bend in that front knee. We don't wanna lock out the, the knee yet. I'm gonna get settled in here with my left hand, and then I'm just gonna start lifting that back right leg here. So with our balancing half moon, we're gonna kind of go through our warrior three into our balancing half moon. You can adjust this block once you get down here, but we wanna stay balanced here on this left leg. We wanna open into the hips here to the long edge of the mat. So we're gonna be opening to the opposite wall here. We wanna keep this five toes that are lifted open. So we're going to point it straight out. You can take hand to hip here. It's a little bit easier if you're having trouble balancing today. Every day is different. Or you can take hand straight up. So here's our balancing moon pose. You can work it right into poet's pose where we're lifting that bottom hand up and placing it on the chest. That's something you can play with. But today my balance is not awesome. Your gaze can be straight up, straight forward, straight down, just as long as that neck's in line with the spine here. So here is our balancing half moon pose. We want to come out of this gently. You can drop the hand, take that slight bend in the knee. We just want to be careful when we come up and out of this. 